think what some of the commentators, and you know, they speak in good faith, and I'm sure with all best intentions, I think what they ha are remarking upon is the introduction of a uniformed component into the enforcement of the Migration Act. That is to say, going right back to 1945 with the establishment of the original Department of, of Immigration, it always had a security function, going right back to the establishment of the government uh, by, by the then Chifley government of the department. It always had a compliance function. It had a liaison with ASIO, for instance, from day one. It had um, means and mechanisms to deal with overstayers. Those functions were performed by Australian public servants under the legislation, the Migration Act, which has obviously been uh, amended uh, many times since. But the essential core function of compliance was undertaken up until the 1st of July this year by what you might term civilian public servants who, um, uh, unlike the ABF, but otherwise um, nothing has changed, but unlike the ABF, did not have powers of arrest, did not have powers to um, uh, apply, uh, if you like, police standard investigative uh, and uh, operational procedures. So part of the modernisation that we're seeking to introduce under the uh, Commissioner's leadership is to professionalise that function. Uh, indeed, we've got a strategic relationship with the police that I mentioned in my opening statement. So all of our investigative functions, for instance, are overseen by a seconded Assistant Commissioner of the AFP. If those threads drawn together, I could go on, but I won't, But because I've made the general point. If those threads are seen as, quote, militarisation, well, I think that's an inappropriate use of the phrase militarisation. If it's seen as a paramilitary paramilitarisation, um, I'd, again, I'd think that's, that's an overreach. If, however, commentators more accurately uh, choose to describe that as the introduction of a law enforcement approach, that is to say, uniformed officers, you see some of them at the table, with arrest powers, who are trained to the standard of uh, law enforcement practitioners, uh, including in relation to investigations, which, uh, as I've said, are overseen by an AFP member, uh, then, yes, I think the Commissioner and I, and perhaps even the Minister, if I can speak for her, would accept that a law enforcement standard and a professionalisation to law enforcement standards has been certainly um, introduced as a, re as a result of government direction. 